Whoa. Some wood, some components, most importantly raw food, and a lockpick. That's amazing just to find just right out here. Hello? I'm sorry I just busted down your door. That's quite rude and weird, but I don't mean any harm. Oh, please help us. Hey, can you please help my brother? Your brother? What happened to him? He got trapped behind some rubble after a grenade hit our building. Papa Adam's trying to reach him, but I know he'll need some help. Sure, kid. Where are they? Upstairs. Come, I'll show you. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, they're scared. Adam, someone came to help us. Can we, can two people do it at the same time? Oh, they can. It speeds it up. Thank God, the poor kids got stuck behind that pile of rubble. We need to dig through, quickly. So don't worry, we got you. Luca, my boy. Adam, I thought I was going to die in there. It's okay, Luca. You're safe now. I promised I'd take care of you, didn't I? And you won't leave us like our parents? No, I'm right here with you. Aww. Thank you so much for your help. I can't thank you enough for helping with clearing this rubble. We reached Luca in the nick of time. What brings you here? I'm glad I could help. I heard about your orphanage. One of the kids you're taking care of said that you could use some help. I live in the museum nearby and thought I should check on you. He said he met someone kind at the supermarket. How Wait, are we having two different conversations? What's going on? Andreas, he used to help me a lot going out scavenging, uh-huh. He used to, what happened? He got sick. Pretty bad, too. Now we need some help, and I can't go out while leaving him and the kids alone here. Maybe I can help you. What do you need? Anything to heat this place is essential right now. We're almost out of fuel, and this cold is deadly. Okay, they do need fuel, but they need ten. Oof. This harsh winter is more than I can manage on my own. We ran out of flammable materials to heat our place up. Andreas, the oldest one, has already got sick, and I don't know how much longer we can last under these circumstances. Can you help us out? Of course, just give me a minute. Let's see what we can find here. I mean, the problem is I'm not going to be able to turn it into fuel while I'm here, so I'm going to have to come back later anyway. amount of stuff. Let's drop the herbs. Homegrown tobacco, that's probably a good trade item. Wood is top priority to make fuel with. Um, hmm. I guess I'll keep the homegrown tobacco as a trade item. I'll finish that stack of components. Let's use our lockpick. Ooh, medication, yes. None of these other things are vital, really. I think I want to leave those spaces open for wood. Take another stack of components just in case I don't find any more wood but if I do I'm gonna dump it thank you for saving my brother from that rubble I'm Nevin by the way 
Oh, it's no big deal, Nevin. I was happy to help. It's just nice to see someone who cares. You're the one who helped Papa and saved me. Are you an angel or something? <laughs> I wish I was, Luca. Just happened to be in the right place at the right time. You're so modest. I think you really are an angel. Because a real angel would never admit to being an angel. That's true. Andreas isn't getting any better. Did you manage to bring anything? Oh, yeah. I found medicine. I mean, I know fuel is obviously important, but shouldn't I be able to give him medicine for Andreas as well? Nah, it's just, it's gotta be fuel. Okay. That's where we came from. Oh, there's a whole nother building here. Ooh. More components. It's actually getting kind of late, though. I think if you don't return in time to your shelter, if you don't get to the exit in time, um, I think you end up showing up late the next day. So, like, I wouldn't have access to Anja at the beginning of the next day. They would just show up sometime later. And I think they might even be hurt. I'm not sure. Either way, I don't have time to do this. I'm not sure exactly how much time I have, by the way. I don't know when I need to leave by. But I definitely don't have much more time. Ooh, another lockpick. Ooh, that's important. Let's dump the homegrown tobacco. The sun's rising, I gotta move. Oh, okay. Oh, uh oh. Jewelry. Hmm. Let's dump some components for the jewelry. Run the exit. Go, go, go. Sounds like I have until 5 o'clock. Okay, so I'll be going to the orphanage again. But this time, I should have enough fuel. Got a pretty good amount of wood. Andres, or Andres, seems like a good kid. Hope he'll get better soon. The night was calm. Ruben is pale and coughing all the time. Wait, Ruben, did you get more sick? Who that? Anyone here? I've heard you can help me hide something. What? Hello. I, I don't mean to bother you, but do you run this place? Yes, my name is Milena. What brings you here? The word on the street is that you help with keeping things hidden. I guess that depends on what kind of things we're talking about. All I'm interested in is gathering artworks important for our culture. We must preserve them for future generations. Oh, that's great. Here, take these books. Wait. These are old and beautifully illustrated. And valuable. My papa used to read these tales to me when I was young. My house has been raided twice already. The bandits didn't find them then, but I can't take the risk anymore. If I survive this war, maybe I could take them back. But for now, please keep them safe. Alright, don't worry. I'll keep them safe for you. Take care. Thank you, dear. Thank you and God bless you. A Tale of the Roscoe Brothers Collection. A set of beautifully illustrated classic fairy tales by Marco Zlotnik, with handwritten notes on the sides that look like they may have been made by the author himself. These can be quite valuable, so we've been asked to keep them safe in our collection as their owners won't be able to hide them by herself. These books are extremely rare. It's good that she brought them here. Okay. 
Yeah, Ruben's severely ill. What the hell? Alright, come on. Come on. Take some medicine. I thought you were on the mend. We're still slightly wounded. Tired, hungry. Um... Let's go grab these artworks up here. With you, let's go make some food. City documents, put in a box. I guess whatever we had in our hands looks like it might have just automatically been put into the collection. Because I think this is where we took them from when we ended the night before they actually made it all the way back to the collection. Uh, I'm going to need a lot of fuel. How much wood do I have? Oh, I have 15. Heck yeah. Let's make like 12, because I'll need 10 for the quest, plus some more for us, of course. Oh, I thought that was Zoran for a second. I thought Milena was Zoran. I'm like, what are you doing there? Aren't you supposed to be packing this stuff up? Did we find more food? Yes, that's right, we did. Hungry. 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 So we're not extremely hungry, but... You know, a bit. Zeron's very tired, so... I think I'm gonna have him go to bed after they get that stuff in there. should grab some more. Uh, actually, you should go stoke the fire. It's too cold right now. There we go. Let's go grab some more collections. We've got a ton to get over here. And once you're done with that, let's put you to bed. That's all good. That's good. Let's eat the food. Let's have Anja eat it. Oh no, this is the one we finished with last night, isn't it? So... Yeah, I guess we just lost that progress and we have to put the stuff back into the box again. Alright. I'm still slightly wounded. Do I want to take a bandage for that? I don't think so. I don't think it's necessary. Ooh, we can actually go kind of out there. I feel so exposed. I'm worried about a sniper. Okay. To grab, whoop. Um, I don't need that. A radio would be good. We don't have one. It's pretty cheap, honestly. Rainwater collector. Takes five wood is the problem. Let's make a radio. Let's put it there. Let's have you gather some more artworks. Let's grab our ceremonial items. Let's check her bios. Zoran Day 15. Kids dying of cold. What a horrible and disgusting thing. If the war and loss of their relatives were not already enough, now they have to face the idea of death themselves. Our work in the museum is important, but something has to be done about those kids in the meantime. For me, it's not a difficult thing to imagine how a freezing person feels, as I was there not too long ago. And I don't want those kids to suffer the same. We need to help them. The situation with the kids at the orphanage is worse than we thought. They're freezing there, and Adam needs to stay all the time as the kids are falling sick. They really need help. Got a couple bits of news here. 
Beware of bands of looters roaming the city. It's best to lock your doors and stay inside. Okay, so I think that's a little hint that you definitely want to guard your place. And another one is Friendship of Nations, a beloved mosaic by Miha Korin, which, until yesterday, graced the city park, is the latest victim of the War on Culture, smashed into millions of shards by machine gun fire. Got some more items here. Archival photographs of Pagorn. Prints and color slides of Pagorn from the early 20th century. Most of the buildings pictured in them were destroyed during the war, so this collection remains the only material evidence of their existence. And sketches from local artists. Several dozen sketches from less known Pagorn graphic artists, both professional and amateurs, donated, or, or not collected, by their authors after the Voices of the Neighborhood exhibition several years ago. Get another batch of things stored in here. Temperature could be a little higher. Oh, do I, oh, I need to stoke the fire. Uh, for now, though, I want to go use the lockpick down here. And I guess I'll have you go stoke the fire. Oh, actually, I need another lockpick for this, which I have. Two fertilizer, nice. Let's get it up to six, nice and warm. Oh, in the meantime, I should have you collect more artifacts. Actually, I don't know where any more artifacts are. Just go collect that thing. Oh, holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. That looks like it's about to explode. But I can't seem to repair it, though. Like, it won't even pop up with anything. I hope that doesn't explode. That's not going to finish in time. Okay. Hmm... Ruben is once again severely ill. They, they gotta be in bed. Saran, so I'm sorry, you gotta be the guard again, and we gotta go scavenge at the orphanage. We are gonna take a l Shit. I don't have 10 fuel on me. Alright, I restarted the day, did everything basically how I did it before. Oh, I think I've been misunderstanding what this whole thing is about up here. I tried to grab the rest of these uh, artifacts here, and it said I can't because the roof is too dangerous, because it's you can see it's like about to break. And I think the reason I can't fix it is because I don't think this works how I thought it did. I thought we were supposed to just keep like, keep reinforcing our temporary braces just to keep the roof up. But I think we only can reinforce it once. And then I think we were just supposed to I think it was just supposed to be a temporary reinforcement and then we're supposed to immediately get all of the artifacts out of that area and then just let it collapse, I guess? Not what I thought it was, so there's I think just one artifact that we're gonna miss there that's gonna get destroyed. So, near the end of the day again, let's use our lockpicks. I think I've collected all of the artifacts that I can in this place. A bullet. Ooh, two raw food. That's fantastic. That equals four, four food when combined with the vegetables. Oh, I need another lockpick for this one. Dang. And I do have enough fuel, right? Yes, I have 11. I don't have anything for that, right? Wait, I have another lockpick? I have three lockpicks? Some water, some more food. Man! We have a lot of great stuff right now. Mm. Oh, good. Zaran has been in bed basically all day, and their tiredness has completely disappeared. 
you're going to have to be on guard. Ruben, you'll be in bed because you're severely ill. And once again, we'll scavenge. We'll go to the orphanage and take 10 fuel with us. Oh, that's awkward. Only stacks into fours. Whoops. Oh, no. Must be so alarming the way I just break into the house, just <laughs> Dear child, I can see something's bothering you. Oh, are they having a conversation? I'm so sad, Papa. I miss my mommy. She used to read me fantastic tales before I went to sleep. She's gone, and I'm cold and scared all the time. I know, girl. We'll figure something out. Well, starting now, you're not going to be cold. Thank you. You've saved Andreas and the other kids. I'll have the fire going in no time. I'm glad I could help. Do you need anything else? You might have heard me chatting with Nika, that little girl. She's really troubled and misses her mother. Yes? Did I accidentally end the conversation or what? I, I guess I need to go speak with them? The kid that they were talking with? girl. You're Nika, right? I am. Thank you for helping us. It's nice to know there's someone kind around. I know you're not feeling well. Can I do anything for you? You live in the museum, right? Do you have any books there? Well, we might have something. You know, before this war, my mom used to read to me a lot. I especially love the fairy tales with all the drawn pictures. I didn't know how to read, so when Mum wasn't around, I just looked at the pictures. You don't have any books in here? We did have some, but we desperately needed something to burn. Do you think you could find some books with pictures in your museum? I'll see what I can do. Yeah, we have that book that they just donated, right? The person just donated to us? I'll do my best. Okay, I think that's everything looted except this entire other building that I didn't have time to clear. Oh wait, and this. Don't know if I can, don't know if I have enough time to clear it, but let's try as much as we can. Looks like we're about to do it with a couple hours to spare, actually. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. They even have a book. I don't think it's... I think it has to be a, a book with pictures, so not just a generic book. Um, what's most important here? What stacks? Those two. I really still don't care about sugar at all. I have a lot of components, but... Well, I'll take parts. 
got a full stack of parts. Vegetables not too important right now, to be honest. Tobacco, herbs. This is good. Oh, it's locked. Whoa. Oh, no. I just accidentally switched to fighting mode. I thought there was an enemy or something. <laughs> Whew. Barred from the other side. I think we can come down to unbar it, though. Yes. I have to get out of here by five, don't I? So I need to go, like, right now? Yep, 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 yep. I'll just loot this and then go. Run to exit. Go, 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 go. Whew. That was actually pretty close. I have so much stuff. I can definitely build that other fireplace now. Oh man, Andre, you were so tired. Books, huh? Reminds me of all the fairy tales I loved to read as a child. We've been raided? Oh man, even with a guard. Oh, some came at night to take our things by force. Um, someone tried to rob us. They must have been more scared than us, so we managed to fend them off. Too bad we had no weapons. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. Oh, okay. Thank God, Jesus. Sounded like they took all my stuff, but they didn't manage to take anything. So yeah, in this case, I think we just got lucky. Just, the, we didn't have any weapons. So, you know, if they had... A lot of courage and weapons of their own. They could have easily overpowered us. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on day 17.